Okay, L. Rodrigo, hello. We are going to start the class. Thank you for coming on time, guys. How are you today? Good evening, uh, good day. Okay, you had a good a good day. That's pretty good. What about you, Rodrigo? Good, teacher. Hi. Good, good evening. Good evening. That's really good. And also, we have Diego here. Hello, Diego. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, well, I've been fine. Uh, uh, being in classes at the university and helping at home. Uh, ordering today uh, okay. a lot of things well yeah. it was a busy day yeah yes but, but it was it was good okay well i'm really happy to hear that uh, la rodrigo diego thank you for coming on time to our class let me activate my camera great so we are ready to start just give me a second guys i don't know why lights okay in a second. Oh, it's over here. Pretty good. Okay. Everybody, welcome to our class. Welcome to the last week of this level. Um, I'm really happy, guys, to start this week. Also kind of sad because I, I well, you will pass to an, a next level and I am not pretty sure if I will continue with you, but I'm really happy, guys, to be part of your progress, uh, your, your English progress, and also that we will continue learning and practicing more. As you could see, uh, you will start. Uh, you will start your next level. Uh, well, I don't know if in one week or two weeks, but please be ready for it, everybody, and try to do your best. Okay. In this opportunity, I will. I would like to start with our first activity, guys, because we have a lot of activities to do, guys. But let's start with the first activity of today. Well. I want to ask you, everybody, what's a crazy invention you know? Talking about these topics, uh, about this topic, everybody, you know that there are many inventions that are kind of weird, like, are kind of crazy. Some of the inventions that exist are, well, some of them are really important, but there are some others that are not useful at all, okay? For example, guys, let me look for uh, let me look for a picture to show you an example of crazy inventions. Um, have you ever seen the chopsticks fan? Chopsticks fan. Okay, have you ever seen this invention? No, I never. Oh. <laughs> Do you, okay. Do you think this invention it's useful or it's crazy? It's crazy. It's crazy, like nothing. Yeah, it it is kind of crazy because well, I think to blow air it's something you can do by yourself. But then people come and think about an invention that helps you to blow air and, and make things a little bit cool, okay? Or cooler than they are. Well, this is one invention, guys, one crazy invention. Let me think about, about another one. Uh, let me see. Oh. Let me see if I find if I find it. I think that that thing complicate more eating eating ramen. Yeah, that's right. It it is kind of more difficult to eat. Well, because it it, it also it's kind of weird. Well, I didn't find yes. any I didn't find any other um, example, but I want to ask you if you know any crazy invention. Can you think about one and share? Mm, 
I don't remember right you now. Don't, you don't remember, Rodrigo. What about you, Diego? Do you remember about any crazy invention? Well, AI, I'm seeing a kind of mouth. I don't know how to say trapeador. Okay. Oh, yes, it's a mouth. Uh, yes, a mouth. Uh, that is in a uh, uh, baby clothes. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> uh, it is like in the, the front part that the baby has when he he tries to <laughs> to move he, it cleans the the floor at, at the same time i don't know let me see i don't know how to explain Mop it. in a baby clothing oh like yeah. this <laughs> let's see some pictures yes this is the one that you said oh right? my god <laughs> it's a, it, and look at the name of the of the invention guys the name of this invention is baby mop Okay. Yes. Do, do I think crazy. that is crazy and useful. <laughs> yeah, I consider that it is also crazy, but it's really useful. But imagine, guys, okay. Yeah, it, can, it can be it can be useful, but it looks weird. Man. Yeah, it looks weird, but imagine the poor baby, dirty and <laughs> yes. full of, of of dirt. So it's kind of of weird. I, I don't know, guys. Look at this. Oh, this is the description. Let me see. Well, it is not charging. Make your children work for their keep. Okay. I, I will not read the whole description, but it seems to be very useful, even though it's weird because, as I said before, imagine a baby uh, well, dirty with a lot of things, and, and, and even we could say... Uh, wet if it is uh, if if the floor is if the floor is is wet of course the baby will also get wet so it's a it, it has both parts right it is kind of useful but it is also weird okay thank you for sharing diego that's a that's a good one i really like it and Elle, do you know about any crazy invention Oh, let's see. I, I'm... I send the chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a crazy invention. Let me see it. Okay. And what is the name of that invention? I don't really I don't remember the name because I remember I listened in the in the in the invention cra crazy in the YouTube. Uh, in okay. Spanish, uh, remember the video era dispensador de, de papel. That is for blow your nose. Yeah, is the is the, the for for the use the the flu. Uh, yeah. Is the is the idea? <laughs> oh my god! But... Let's see. Well, I will I will use portable maybe portable wipes to blow your nose. No, but this is another one. <laughs> That's a normal thing. Or maybe a cap. Cap wise to blow your nose. No. We don't know about that. Let's well, we will look for it in a moment. Let's see. Imagine walking around with toilet paper in your hand. Yes, I, I, I'm I'm thinking about that, guys. Imagine how crazy it should be to 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 wear to wear a cap with toilet paper. And you, well, you can like, uh -huh. you have to use it when you're sick. Oh yeah, you have yeah. to use it whenever you're sick. The, so the, the, the idea the use the the your seat. But imagine there are there are some as as we could see there there are uh, small wipes that you can have with you or you can take with you on your on your backpack or on your on uh, or on your back and Let's see. Let's. I, I'm. I, I'm looking for it, guys, and I can't find it. Okay, so it will be a mis a, a mysterious thing, everybody. 
but it looks crazy. I, I really like this one. Okay, I really like the, the picture that Ellis sent. <laughs> okay, there are different inventions, guys. But as you could see, okay, they are, well, some of them can be useful, but some others are kind of crazy. Um, well, Rodrigo, did, did you remember about any crazy invention? I don't remember any, did you? Any, okay, well, I just remember uh, this little fan for, for your chopsticks. Uh, I was think I was thinking about any other, but I uh, actually I didn't remember. Um, well, the important thing about this, everybody, is that as you can see, we can talk about these inventions and the use they have for in different ways. We can think that they are useful. Maybe they are not useful at all. Okay, in some cases, they are. They are just something that. It is supposed to help people, but at the end, it makes people lazier than they are. That's why everybody in today's class, we will use specific words to talk about the use of different objects. Today, everybody, we will talk about infinitives versus gerunds, okay? Let's start with the class, everybody, and move to our next slide. To start with our class, um, let's read a short explanation about gerunds and infinitives, okay? To start, everybody pay attention to Diego. Okay, Diego, you will be my volunteer right now. Okay, uh, gerunds versus infinitives. We use gerunds and infinitives to talk about the purposes and uses of something. Uh, I use my cell phone to send messages. Uh, people use cell phones for sending messages. Thank you. Okay, as you can see, we have two sentences. But in this case, everybody, the two sentences have the same idea. What is the difference that you can see in these two sentences? What do you think, Ele? What is the difference? And the, the verb is person continue sending, send, and, uh, and no, is the plural, no, infinity is, is, is it. Okay, uh, very good. Or if, is the difference, it's only the difference. The, the another, the difference is the, is the, uh, the plural and singular. Mm. Okay, you were close, Ele. That was a great answer. But let's see. The main difference that we can see in one sentence and the other is that in, sen in, the, se in the first sentence, we have the verb in infinitive, to send, to send. But in the next example, everybody, we have the example or the verb in gerund okay we will talk about this in today's class everybody so i will ask you to pay attention and if you have any question guys you can let me know i'm here to help you guys and i hope we can enjoy and practice this topic okay to start with this let's understand or let's have a better idea of what are gerunds and what are infinitives to start everybody Let's pay attention to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, what are gerunds? Or plus in ing ah, termination. Great. Excellent. Four plus ing termination, okay? Or the ending of ing. As you can see here, whenever we use four in a verb in ing, we are talking about gerunds for taking, for example, for uh, chatting, for, oh, I don't know, guys, for making, okay? So anytime we use for plus an ing verb, we are talking about gerunds, okay? And remember that we use gerunds to talk about the use 
or the purpose of something. Now, everybody, pay attention to L and pay attention to what are the infinitives. L, what are the infinitives? Infinitives to plus verb in base form. Excellent. That's it, everybody. Something very simple. Whenever we have to plus a verb in base form, any verb, we are talking about infinitives. Again, everybody, the same examples. To take, to chat, to make, okay? Anytime we use gerunds and infinitives, we use them to talk about the use of something or the purpose of something. Generally, guys, we use gerunds and infinitives to talk about the use of something. And this is uh, this is the next part, everybody. Let's see some examples using gerunds and some other examples using infinitives. And then, everybody, we will check the main difference between both of them. Okay? Let's start, everybody, with the first examples using gerunds. Please, Rodrigo, tell me what are gerunds or what is the use of gerunds? We generally use gerunds to talk about the purpose or fun function of an object. This machine is used for cleaning cars. A hair dryer is for drying hair. Excellent. As you can see, we use for cleaning cars, for drying hair, okay? Do they have another use, everybody? Do you think that these two machines have another use or that's the single use that we can give them? Let's see, Diego. It can be used for another thing. Okay, for, for example, example uh-huh. Uh, yes, the, the first machine is used for clean sofas, for example, or carpets. Oh, that's yeah. right. We can use it to, okay, for cleaning cars, carpets, uh, sofas. I don't know what else, guys, but many, many things, guys. And it will, it, it is really useful. It's really helpful, right? Now, can we use a hair dryer? for another purpose? Ele, what do you think? Yeah. Is it possible to use a hair dryer for another thing? Okay, the, the instruction is it's normal they, they use the, the object. I think it's okay. The object, only object, no people. Or it's possible they, they use the, the animals. Mm, okay, yeah. Mm. But, well, the use is for drying hair. Now, can we dry something different with a hair dryer? I don't understand, teacher. Okay, the hair dryer helps you to dry your hair, right? But yeah. can we dry something different instead of your hair? It's possible, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, 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 the dryer for my, for pet. Ah, very good. To, to dry uh -huh. your pets, uh, your, your pets uh -huh. yeah, uh, the, the, for, for, because... For, uh -huh. Yeah, for hair because it's a uh, the depends situation for for the, the for the for the hair dryer is is possible the 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 use for uh, uh it's sorry to drive uh, the dryer oh, for, to drive uh -huh. in the 
for drying the clothes. Uh, clothes. Excellent. Oh. It can help you to dry clothes. If possible. Okay. Yes. Okay. As you can see, the hair dryer can have three or four different uses. The same for the first machine that I actually, I don't know what is the name, nor in Spanish and in, in, not in English. So I, I don't remember what is the name of, I don't actually, I don't know what is the name of that thing in Spanish and in English, but I think it's a, a, a washing machine car. No, I don't know guys. Okay. But as you can see, they have a specific use, a general use. Because if you go, if you go and buy, if you go to Walmart, Super Selectos, or any other place, and you buy a hair dryer, you can read on the on the small box that it is for drying your hair, or it 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 it, it help it helps you to dry your hair. Okay, this is the general use, but when we use these kind of things, everybody. In a different way, we don't use the gerunds. We only use the gerunds, everybody, when we are talking about general uses. The same use all people give to these elements or to these objects. But if you're talking about a specific use you give to those things, well, in that case, we don't use gerunds. In that case, everybody, it's better to use infinitives, okay? Let's pay attention to... to, to, to... Okay, this opportunity help me out with this, Ellie. Okay, teacher. I just rain is the moment for the... It's possible the, code, the, the problem for the connection in, in the future. I, I will probably... It's probably... Uh, I will... Ah, uh, it's probably I will problem in the connection uh, is in another moment. Infinity. We use infinity to express uh, the purpose of an action or the reason why you do something. I use a hair driver to drive my car. Uh, I play video games to relax. Nice. Why okay. we? Okay, very good. Pay attention to it, guys. The description of this part, infinitive, says the purpose of an action or the reason why we, okay, the people that is in the class, we do something. Okay, look at this. Express the purpose of an action we do. Okay. In this opportunity, we have the same example that we have in gerunds. So we say in gerunds, uh, the hair dryer is for drying your hair. In this case, we have to dry your hair because this is a general use. And I consider guys that you give the same use to these kind of objects. As Ellis said before, maybe we can use it to dry your, your pet's fur. For everybody, it's your your dog or your cat hair. Hair is for us as people, but for animals, the name of their hair is four. I will write it on the chat. Four. And it is pet's hair. Pet's hair. Okay. As Ellie mentioned, it is possible to dry your your pet's uh, your pet's fur with a hair dryer. Oh, also you can dry, for example, clothes. If you need, if you are in a hurry and you need to dry your your clothes uh, really quickly, so you can use your dry, uh, your hair dryer to do it. Okay, but it depends, guys on the use you give to these things, okay? Then, okay, let's pay attention to another example, guys. This is not on the screen, but I want to ask you, what is the use 
of a cell phone. What is the use uh, of a cell phone? Send the chat, send the message to uh, write the chat. Uh, okay, the, the general, people. very good. The general use people give to cell phones is to is for sending messages. The cell phone is for sending messages, for making phone calls, for chatting on WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or any other social a network, okay? But what is the main use you give to your cell phone? Oh, I use my cell phone to read about soccer news, or I use my cell phone to, I don't know, to watch me memes on, on Facebook. Or I use my cell phone to take pictures if you have a great cell phone, okay, with a great camera. Well, that's the use I give to my cell phone. But what is the use you give to your cell phone? Let's start with Ellie. What is the main use, the main use you give to your cell phone? It's interesting because in the, in the, the design, the, the cell phone is the make a call for the people. But in the moment, uh, is is use the the chat is only chat uh, and watch video TikTok. Okay, to watch TikToks, Holly. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Ellie uses his cell phone. Look at this. We are talking not the general use. We are talking about Ellie's uh, cell phone's use. Okay. Ellie uses his cell phone to, to what? To watch TikToks, for example, or to chat, okay? So these are the main activities Ellie does in his cell phone. What about you, Rodrigo? What do you do on your cell phone? Well, I use it to mainly to play video games, mm -hmm. to text it, to text my friends and to watch TikTok too. Okay, nice. To play video games, text his friends. Well, to text his friends, to text his friends and to watch TikToks, right? Very good. And what about you, Diego? What is the main use you give to, to your cell phone? Okay, well, I use my cell phone principally to watch YouTube videos, uh, to, to chat with my friends, and that's <laughs> uh, principally that, I don't know. Okay, very good. Those are great uses. So, well, as you can see, you use your cell phone to watch videos on TikTok or YouTube, okay? It depends on any of you, okay? Or each of you, because Ellen and Rodrigo watch TikToks, then Diego uh, watch more videos on YouTube. I guess that he watches more videos on YouTube than uh, on TikTok, but it's great, okay? Well, also you use your cell phone to chat, you use your cell phone to chat. This is the main use you give to the things, okay? Then we have the next, the next example, guys. I play video games to relax. When we talk about the purpose of something, the purpose, purpose. When we talk about the purpose of something, guys, we use infinitives. I play video games to relax. Oh, you can tell me now, teacher. I play video games to, to improve my technological skills. Okay, it's great. Or you can tell me, no, I, am, I play video games to, I don't know, guys, to learn English because you, you play video games but in a, in an in, in English, okay? I don't know, it's also a possibility. But as you see, we are talking about the purpose of something, 
the reason why we do something. I want to ask you, why are you learning English? Why do you learn English? Oh, teacher, I learn English to work in a call center. Oh, teacher, I learn English to travel to another country and work in that country. Oh, no, teacher, I learn English to understand my favorite movies in English. I don't know. It depends on you guys, not on my reasons, but in yours, okay? But as you can see, guys, gerunds are generally used to talk about the general use things have. But infinitives is used when we talk about the specific purpose of our actions and the reason why we do something, okay? Let's remember this, uh, this information, guys, and we can continue. Do you have any question about these two parts, everybody, gerunds and infinitives? Any question or it's clear as water? Hey, I think it's clear. Everything clear, teacher. Everything clear. Okay, great. So I hope everybody you can practice and give me a lot of examples about this. Okay, good. Let's move everybody to our next activity. Our next activity for today, everybody, it's our infinitives versus gerunds practice. Okay, look at the instructions. Ident identify the correct form to use infinitive or gerund, okay? In case everybody, we have questions during the activity, you can let me know everybody and I will, I will be happy to help you. Let's see, let's see. Okay, in this opportunity, we have uh, just 10 examples. And at least in this exercise, guys, we have 10 examples, okay? Let me show you, two, two, two. okay. Over here, guys, you can see the 10 sentences. I will give you guys one minute to read the 10 examples and decide what is the correct form of the verbs, okay? If it is, well, the correct form of the preposition in this case. If it is for or to, okay? It will be fast and easy, guys. So take one, take one minute and then we check together. Teacher, more Zoom, please. Oh, you need Zoom. Give me a second. Yes, I have problem for the... <laughs> oh, don't worry. Okay, I, I got it. Okay. Since since I am I, I am on the computer, I can, I can see it clearly. But I know, guys, it's kind of difficult if you are uh, with uh, some, some kind of distance. Actually, when I share my screen, I am not pretty sure, but I guess it is kind of smaller. That's why it's, it's even more difficult to see the sentences as they are. Okay. In this opportunity, guys, we will continue with uh, the first example. The first sentence, guys, will be answered by all of us. I need my computer. What do you think is the correct word? Do or for? To send an important mail. Email. Email. To send. Okay, Diego, thank you. L. Rodrigo, do you think the same or not? Yes, yes, it's, it's to, to send. Yes, thank you. Yes, it's to send. Great. Okay, guys, right now we can continue checking this part. Diego, you will help me with example two. Uh, Rodrigo, example three, and oops, give me a second. And Ella, you will help me with example four, okay? After that, we will change positions. Help me out with this, Diego. Four. What is the correct sentence? Uh, uh, call two. your doctor. 
to an appointment. To an appointment? Okay, thank you. Mm, sorry, what is the meaning of appointment? <laughs> appointment is, for example, when you go to the hospital and they tell you, okay, you have to come to the hospital on August 20th, okay? At 9 a.m. That is an appointment. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That appointment can be uh, the hospital, as, as I mentioned. It can be uh, the dentist. Um, maybe also interviews are similar to appointments. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes, I think that is two. Two. Okay, great. What do you think, Rodrigo, about example three? To lose. I'm on a diet to lose some weight. Okay, great. I'm on a diet to lose some weight. That's great. Now, Ellie, example four. Four. I am I am I'm going to call the restaurant for booked a table. For book a table. Okay. Thank you. Let's move everybody to example five, six, and seven. In this opportunity, let's change positions. Uh, I will move Rodrigo to example five, Diego to example seven, and Ellie to example six. Okay, let's continue. Rodrigo, example five, what is the correct answer? It's for a thermometer. It's a tool for measuring the temperature. Good job, thank you. And number six, Ele, what do you think? Uh, do you have time uh, for a cup of the tea? Of okay, tea. for a cup of tea. Okay, that's really nice. And what about seven, uh, Diego? Uh, I don't know why, but I think that it sounds better using four. I need some money for a tax, but I'm not sure. Okay, don't worry. Right now we are just practicing, okay, and learning. Okay, very good. Let's move everybody and continue with our next exercise. Let's see. Ellie, you will help me with example eight, Diego example nine, and Rodrigo example 10. Yeah, we will do it like that. Okay, tell me, Ele, what is example eight? I need some money to take a taxi. Okay, to take a taxi. Pretty nice. What about number nine, Diego? Uh, the knife is used for cutting plastic. For cutting plastic, very good. And number 10, uh, Rodrigo? Where can I go to buy the ingredients? Okay, good. To buy the ingredients. Pretty good. Okay, let's check the answers, everybody. Let's check if they all of them are correct or if we need to check and learn something else. Let's pay attention to it, guys. Well, we have an 8 out of 10. Our score is 80%. Let's check our answers. Okay, as you can see, guys, number one is correct. Number two is not correct. Number four is not correct. Let's check, guys, why these answers are not correct. Number two, guys, says, this is something I really like about this page, everybody. I'm really sorry because of this little advertisement. They are not paying me, guys, for, for this advertisement, but I really like to practice on this website because if you make a mistake in one sentence, guys, they tell you or they give you a short explanation of what was your, your mistake or what is the correct form. If you want to, to copy this link, everybody, well, I will, I will copy this link for you and I will send it to on the chat. It is test, oops, it is a HTTPS, a, then we have test English test hyphen English.com 
dash grammar points. I will just keep it like until here, A2. Right now we are, actually we are in a, in a higher level, but A2, or you can look for a different level, B1 or B2, it depends on you guys. Well, let's continue with our, after this little advertisement, everybody, let's continue with this, uh, with our practice, okay? We can use for plus noun to say what is the purpose of an action or the reason why we do something. Guys, in this opportunity, I made a mistake or because I, not because I didn't, uh, not because I told you something different, but it was because I didn't tell you about this. We only talk about the use of for plus verb in, oops, plus verb in ing form. And two plus verb in base form. Okay, that's the, the single thing I explained to all of you. But also, guys, there is something important we need to remember or to know about the use of for is that we use for and also or after for if you don't have a verb and you have a noun. Well, in that case, everybody, well, in this case, if you have a noun and it's talking about a purpose, of course, everybody, we need to use for, okay? Let me check the other example. The one in which uh, Diego said, no, teacher, it sounds better with four. Let me see. It is example seven, I guess. Oh, yes. No. It's, yes, it's seven. It's seven. Look at this. I need some money for a taxi, okay? Diego says, no, teacher, it sounds better if we say for a taxi, not to a taxi. In this case, guys, if you have a noun, if you don't have a verb in ing form or in base in infinitive, in that case, everybody, we use for. If we just have a noun, it's better for us to use for, okay? Let's see the next example, guys. Well, this mistake, I'm going to call the restaurant for book a table. Oh, guys, is that correct? First of all, tell me what is the meaning of book in English as a verb, as a verb? It's like a do, doing a reservation. Excellent, Diego. That's pretty good. Okay. Book as a verb is to make a reservation on a flight or to book a table to, to make a reservation in a restaurant. Okay. As you can see, guys, book is in base form. We are not using ing. That's why the right answer is two, as it says. We can use two plus infinitive to say what is the purpose of our action or the reason why we do something. As you can see, everyone, these are the uses of four and two, okay? I completely forgot to, to explain or to tell you about nouns that in some cases, everybody, we will find in examples. And if we don't have any verb or we don't have a, a verb in base form or ing form, well, we can use in that case four plus a noun, okay? Now you know, everybody, um, and thanks to this example, guys, we will learn about that because on the platform, you will not find, I guess, everybody, you won't find any example related. All of the examples are ING or base form, but any of them is talking about nouns. Now, everybody, you have this new information. Okay, we still have 12 minutes, so I hope everybody that we will be able to finish with our next exercise. 
Let's move to exercise number two, everybody. And at success, choose the correct forms to express purpose. Look at the examples, guys, and tell me what is the correct form. Right now, we will. Uh, I will give you one minute, everybody, for you to check what is what are the right answers in the first three. No, the first two examples. We will we will do it together. Okay, go ahead. One minute. One minute right now. And number two, I think is letter B. Okay, Diego. We'll continue. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, Diego. So you 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 are you are you are really motivated right now because you told me example <laughs> number two, but number one is still is still um, empty. So let's check. Okay, we will check together number one. Okay, she's going to university. What's the right answer? Letter A, B, or C? Mm, I am between letter A and letter C. But, okay. I think I think it's letter C to continue. Rodrigo, letter C. Diego, between A and C. What about you, Ellie? A, C, I prefer, or, or B? I prefer uh, for me, <laughs> in the case they use the logic, she's going to university for to continue her, her study. For continuing. B. Okay. Well, guys, I will give you the answer because we are uh, kind of confused with some examples. But in this case, guys, letter C, it's the right answer. Why, everybody? Because we are not talking about the general use of each people. Actually, it should be the general purpose of all people. But in this case, we focus on care. Okay, she's going to continue, uh, sorry, she's going to university to continue her studies. Thank you. Now, oh, Diego, okay. now you know, guys, okay? Now, Diego, I saw you were really excited with example number two. So tell me, what is the right answer? My the letter B. Complete sentence, please. For my next interview. Okay, complete sentence. I need. I need to buy a new dress for my next interview. Okay, Diego, thank you. Let me tell you that this is correct. Okay, so you are right, Diego. That's the right uh, answer. As you can see, guys, to my next interview, no, because we don't have any verb. Remember, if we just, oops, if we just have, in this case, the noun, it's better to use for, or actually it's possible, or it's the single possible answer for my next interview. But if we have this for interviewing, that's correct, everybody. But the thing is that the meaning is different. It means that you will interview another person, not that you will go to an interview, okay? That's the, the difference. But Great job, Diego. Okay, I really congratulate you for that answer. That was great. Let's continue. Everybody together. Do you want to go to a coffee shop? Hmm. What could be the right answer? For breakfast, to breakfast, or for having breakfast? Do you want to go? For a breakfast. Better a. L for breakfast. Rodrigo and Diego. 
This one is hard. It's letter B. I very, think very fast can be a verb. No. The, no. The, uh, the action is have breakfast. Okay. Okay. Then letter C for having breakfast. Uh-huh. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, guys. I I I I don't like I don't like to uh, I don't like to tell, I, I wouldn't like to tell you guys that the right answer is for breakfast. Actually, oh. both sounds great, okay? For breakfast, for having breakfast. But remember that gerunds are, when we talk about general purposes of, uh, that people give to, to things. But in this case, we are talking about you, okay? I don't understand. Okay, when we talk about the uh, general uses people give to something, so then we use gerunds for having breakfast. But in this case, we are talking about the purpose we do something. And in the sentence, we are talking about you. So what is the purpose you go to the coffee shop? It says for breakfast. That is the purpose. Okay, Rodrigo? That you means that you have to use for and not a Jerome when it's a personal, when you are asking to a person in particular, any specific? Yes, we could say that uh, we use for plus a noun the, in the same way we use to plus a verb in base form. They have the same use. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. But if you have, for example, if you have a verb in ing form, uh, of course, we need to use for because of the structure. And we are talking about something in general. Let's pay attention to example number four and tell me what is the right answer. Kitchen scissors are, what is the right answer, guys? For cutting, to cut, or for cut? For cut. Uh, for cutting? Letter A. Letter A. What do you think, Ellen Rodrigo? It can be both. I stand. It's the same. Mm, okay. For Look at this, everybody. Are we talking about you or in general? In general, right? Ah, uh, yes, it's in general. Ah, it's in general. Then, what do we use for general users? To cut. In general? Infinitive. We use for and the ing. Ah, we use gerunds when we talk about things in general or uses in general. Infinitives are just when we are talking about the reason why we do something, okay, or the purpose we give to something, okay. That's why everybody in this example for cutting is the right answer for cutting because we're talking about kitchen scissors in general, okay? Okay. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay. Let's finish, guys. I would like to continue with the next page because there are 10 questions, but we don't have more time. Let's finish with example number five. I need to go home what is the purpose? To finish. to finish. Yes, to finish my homework because I am talking about the purpose I or the reason why I do something. I need to go to my to my home. What is the purpose? To finish my homework. Okay, very good. Everybody, I'm really happy that we practice that we uh, talk a little bit. A, a little bit about this and that we had an explanation of our mistakes and that we correct also 
our mistakes. It's pretty good. So let me uh, show you guys our homework. As you know, we need to continue, guys, with uh, the activities on the platform. As you remember, guys, in Saforb, checked that you completed at least 75% of progress uh, on the platform. So I will ask you guys to continue working on the platform, of course, and do the following exercises. As you know, today we are just starting unit five. Please guys, start with the first activity, 5.0. What do we use this for? This is just the starting of the unit. And please try to work until activity 5.2.3 which is a gerund's practice, okay? I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. I really up into our class and that we started the class, well, the class and this week together. I hope to see you tomorrow, guys, and please continue practicing this part. Thank you for coming, guys. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, Thank you. Thank you. Bye, see you tomorrow. You're welcome. See you tomorrow.